let's go and we will say oh. Good day. Today, Thursday, April 15, 2021. This is your life boy today. And I welcome you to your usual devotional session that will get you always anchored to the word of God and let you know where dangers may be ahead of you so that you can keep sailing and avoid the dangers of the day. We are, as usual, using the Daily Fountain, the Daily Devotional Guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. And we have a very interesting topic today. Our heavenly dwelling. I am sure many of you still want to live here on earth because, well, as tough as things may be, as uh, much as persecutions may be, if you see anything, maybe like a missile that is coming towards you that will mortally hurt you, I'm sure you will still dodge. But we still have to discuss our heavenly dwelling. And our Bible reading is taken from 2 Corinthians chapter 5. We'll be reading from verse 1 to verse 8. And I'll go quickly. For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of God and house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. For in this we groan earnestly, desiring to be clothed upon with our house which is from heaven. If so be that being clothed we shall not be found naked. For we that are in this tabernacle do groan, being burdened, not for that we will be unclothed, but clothed upon that mortality might be swallowed up of life. Now, he that hath wrought us for the selfsame thing is God, who also hath given unto us the earnest of the Spirit, Therefore, we are always confident, knowing that whilst we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord. For we walk by faith, not by sight. We are confident, I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. Even as I'm reading, I just remembered, um, I don't know uh, who sang that song now. A reggae musician said, everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. But the, the truth of the matter is we all have to constantly remind ourselves that we have heavenly dwelling places. And the heavenly dwelling places are going to be eternal. They are not going to be like the hundred years or whatever number of years that you spend on earth here. Some people spend much less. Some by 40, they are gone. Some by 60, 70, 80, they are gone. But no matter how much you live, you live up to the 120 years that God promised you in Genesis chapter 6, or you even live beyond by some special grace, you are still going to leave this earthen vessel and you will have to go to the heavenly dwelling. So what will it be like in that heavenly dwelling for you? Will it be the heavenly dwelling where the saints are? Or will it be the heavenly dwelling where it is gnashing of teeth? Where there is fire burning them by the day? Some people will tell you all those things are lies. Look, I tell you, it is not as if I have ever been to heaven. And I will not even pretend to you that I have caught any glimpse of it. But I'll tell you a story. Some time ago, because my wife and I do take children on excursions, we took a few children on an excursion to Disneyland in Orlando, Florida, in the United States. And the final session was like a carnival. Different brands, there were fireworks, 
everybody dancing, music, you know. And I remember that one of the children asked me how beautiful it is. Could this be like heaven? And I thought and pondered over that question for a while. I will also remind you of another story in the Bible when Jesus was on the Mount of Transfiguration and Moses came and Elias came and then the disciples that were with them said, Master, let us build three tabernacles because it was beautiful, it was glowing, it was glorious. It was a glimpse of the heavenly dwelling. And so those disciples felt, let us, let us just begin to enjoy it from now. Nobody wants to die. Nobody wants to go to that heavenly dwelling ahead of the time that God is going to call you there. But you will have to go one day. When the time comes for you to go, which heavenly dwelling are you going? Is it that heavenly dwelling that will give memories like that kind that that little child perhaps will continue to have? I still have the memory of that uh, Disneyland too, you know, but that's, that's just art. That's just fireworks. That's just fake. That's just make-believe. That's just for a moment. Even some of those people that perform that act, they are not even sure they will ever see heaven. But we are now talking of our heavenly dwelling. The one that some have sometimes caught glimpse of at one point in time or the other. Will you be there? When the role is called up there, will you be there? I pray that I will be there when the role is called up there. Now you are not sure whether you are going to be there or not if the role is called up there. Don't take chances. This is another opportunity for you. I'm extending the invitation for you so that you can begin to also think about our heavenly dwelling and begin to walk towards it and walk towards it. And the best way, the, the, the way, the, the only way actually by which you can be sure that you are securing a place in that heavenly dwelling is by the name of Jesus, is by being anchored to Jesus. You know, when you want to make any trip and you want to book accommodation, they ask you questions and whenever you eventually get there, you just walk into your accommodation. It's the same thing. I'm giving you the code now to be able to have that accommodation in our heavenly dwelling so that you will dwell together. So come, say after me now, if you are not yet sure, you have a reservation there. Say, Father, I come to you today. I have heard about the heavenly dwelling. I want to be in that heavenly dwelling with you. I don't want to go to hell. Therefore, I come to you knowing that I am a sinner. Forgive me of my sins. You write my story, write my name in the book of life. And let me be also part of those that will have a reservation henceforth in that heavenly dwelling in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for you that the Lord will grant that for you today, even as you have asked in Jesus' name. You've been a Christian all along. You also have this prayer to say. Say, wash me, Redeemer, and I shall be whiter than snow. And I will then be assured that constantly my reservation in that heavenly dwelling will never be taken away from me. Grant this, Father, for me, especially today as I go out in Jesus' name. I pray for you that as you go out today, let that memory just linger in your mind, in your spirit, and let it affect your character that there is that heavenly dwelling. Don't miss it. I pray that you will not miss it and that I will not miss it. God bless you. I judge you faithful I call you faithful